Start with the first question. Carla she has some time now between that last fight. What, what's been going on with you since the win? Okay. Honestly, I've been super busy. Uh, I went straight to Australia like two days after for a little much needed vacation, and then I'm right back here in Vegas next UFC. Have you been training at all? Are you preparing for your next fight? What's going on with that? Uh, I'm training just to stay busy a little bit. I um, actually went to jujitsu a couple times this week and got my, a stripe on my purple belt, so that was really cool. Was there any needed time for you to like kind of decompress after the whole Ultimate Fighter experience of being in front of those cameras for so long? Definitely. Um, honestly, I still feel like a little, I need a little bit of time to decompress. It's such a long, you know, experience preparing for the show is pretty much like a year-long process. So um, I'm sure I have a little bit of time between my next fight where I can just chill out a little bit and train without that pressure of having the fight. What does it mean to you though now to have to defend that title and keep that run going? Is that even more pressure than initially going after it? Well, going after it was a lot of pressure, especially having to do with the show and having everything together. So um, every fight is a lot of pressure. I, I wouldn't say it was more pressure than the title because, you know, that was the first ever UFC strawweight champion. So for me, that's such a historical fight and that had kind of more pressure than I think I could ever have. How much did having the Invicta experience help prepare you for all of this and the big platform at the UFC? I think the fact that I was the Invicta champ just shows that I had a long road to get even to that point. So I think just the years of experience really helped me in this, in this process and in this last fight. Have you gone back over the fight card that happened in the Ultimate Fighter Season 20 finale and maybe have your eye on anybody in particular that you'd like to take on? I actually tried to check it out a little bit on Fight Pass, but I couldn't find it. Um, I saw a couple of the fights, and I thought, I thought the fight card looked really great with a lot of talent. You know, even people that I fought in the house, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're scary. They look really good in their fights. You know, Angela Hill looked phenomenal. Uh, Jessica Penny looked great. They, uh, Tisha Torres looked great. They all pretty much dominated their fights. So, you know, just everybody looked great on that card. And did you watch the fight between uh, Claudia and Joanna, and how did you score it? I actually did watch a fight between Claudia and Johanna, and it was a great fight, you know. Um, it just depends on, like, what you score more. I'm not a judge, but for me, it was a very close fight. Uh, there was a knockdown, and, you know, just, it was a bloody fight. It was a really good fight, entertaining. Um, I, I, I drifted slightly towards Claudia winning it, but you know what? Uh, my next opponent is Johanna. She looks really good, so just going to get ready for her. Is that official, or is that what you expect? <laughs> it's what I expect. I... I don't trust me. I've been asking, and I haven't heard anything yet of the time of my next fight or the the official opponent. I'm expecting Johanna because you know that's what I'd heard. I even read an article where Dana White said that's most likely going to be the next contender. So that's just what I'm thinking.